Well, Oregon has hit a new milestone in proving its electric highway. Some upgrades to electric vehicle charging stations are complete just in time for the summer traveling season. Thank you for staying here with us at 530. I'm Galen Etlin. Our Tim Gordon reports and shares the impact. Along the West Coast Electric Highway, this upgraded EV fast charging station at the Woodbird Transit Center got a lot of love. So now once we've scanned it, we're able to unplug it and plug the connector into the vehicle. Governor Kate Brown handled the plug-in demonstration yeah, to here. celebrate the improvements to this. That do yeah, it? it is. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, I heard that little beep. And 43 other charging stations across the state, making them faster and able to handle any type of EV automobile. 44 other level two chargers also got upgrades. Right now, transportation accounts for 40% of greenhouse gas emissions in Oregon. And EVs are one of the greatest ways to lower that, says the director of ODOT, who adds the future means better availability. As the EV infrastructure and the technology continues to grow and expand within the state of Oregon, access increases to all Oregonians in ways that it hasn't before. The work that's being done on Oregon's part of the West Coast Electric Highway is a public-private partnership designed to keep EVs going from California into British Columbia. EV Charging Solutions owns Oregon stations and is doing the upgrades. We're so proud of the work that has been completed to date, but we're not finished yet. Next up, phase two this summer will make 11 super stations for even faster charging. And in late summer, phase three work begins to expand the network of EV charging stations on I-5, I-84 and US-101. Governor Brown says it shows the West Coast leading the way for a better environment. The other good news is that by investing in renewable energy and frankly EV infrastructure, we can create good paying jobs and communities throughout the state. And promoting new EV ways to travel. These station upgrades even include charging connections for your electric bike. Tim Gordon, KGW News.